Today's the day that we finally take the boat out of the water. First time in three years, ready to do the blacking. Going into that dry dock behind me. There. Just waiting for the last boat to come out and then um, we'll be pulling Lady Penny Bun in, ready for a blacking. <laughs> So essentially what happens is this trolley comes down on a reinforced Kevlar cable. It just cost Ellsbury Canal Society about £10,000 to replace. The trolley comes down underneath the boat and then we sort of pull the boat and the trolley up at the same time until they meet. The boat sort of joins with the trolley, hopefully on the right position and we were lucky that it was sat exactly where it should be. Um, Lady Pennybun's 50 foot, which is actually the smallest boat that can go direct on top of the trolley. So the boat before us was about 40 foot, so we had to put some um, beams, like railway sleepers, along the trolley just to lift the boat up off the trolley. Um, then when it got pulled out, sort of just having a look, waiting for any um, horrible surprises. And you see there's tons of weed stuck to the rudder and the propeller. Um, we're in a basin and a dead end canal. There does tend to be a bit more weed than usual. And then once we get in, with a normal setup, or for the most part anyway, uh, most boat yards will actually crane you out and put you on sleepers. Um, so you can black your boat like that but that means that you can't reach the base plate and some people will say you don't need to do the base plate some people swear by having to do the base plate um, but yeah with their setup they basically got four um, independent car lifts and then the trolley comes in they put some beams on wheels underneath the boat where they're going to lift to and then lift the entire boat up just on the four corners via these lifts it's a bit of a uh, scary moment and um, they've got to get the beams in the right place but yeah it works really well and then when it's at the right height they put in some jumbo axle stands that's literally all they are four axle stands and rest the beams on top of those and bring the car lifts out of the way all right the boat's out first job's going to be scraping off all of the green algae before it goes dry bundle that up and then get the pressure wash out and give it a good wash So I've just tried to blast the first side out just to gauge how long it's going to take. Um, the guy said the quicker you get it done obviously it dries and it goes like cement apparently so the quicker you get it off the better. Basically scraping 
the bulk of it off first, and then I'm going to use a pressure washer. Um, yeah, first side not too bad. Creep in, he's done. Ten to three, day one. I think the helping hand will be here in a minute, I hope. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting a bit cold now. It helps the ride. Hello. Help me to get changed. I've got some nice white shoes on, my new white top, and it stinks. It smells worse in here than Jersey. Get changed, I'll give you a tour of what's happened so far. Are you, have you wet? Um, I have breakfast. I, I just had a chew. Do you want me to do some lunch? I'm, I'm quite hungry, I haven't really eaten. I didn't eat breakfast. I feel a bit scared up there. Still. 
Huh? Ah, don't feel right. No. I could try and rock it if you want. No, don't. It's going to take ages. Welcome back. Straight to it. I don't really want to touch it. It's smelly. You've gone soft. How <laughs> soft your hands are now. Look. Yeah, look, no and eczema I've got. Boat. This is going to cause me eczema again. I can sense it. How um, far up are we going? All the way up here? Yeah. What about all the tape? I've got to take that off tomorrow or later on. Come up to this line. Yeah. That's our green above. This is the last corner I've got to do, and I've got to do under the whole base plate. Right. Um, what? What? Jet wash or just scrape? Pressure washer. Pressure washer. Yeah. Uh, all right then. I'm just going to crack on. What do you want to do? Go inside. I've just got it. You want to watch? I thought you were looking at showing me around. Oh yeah. Let's go around there. This anode's not too bad. How much more wear and tear has that got? Okay. Can't you just put more anodes everywhere? Yeah, I guess so. That's an that's anode that's disappeared. Oh, there was one there. There was one there. Oh, that's too so How do you get this off? Grind, so I'm going to have to say grind. Grind it? Yeah, but how are you going to get the bit of metal on back on? Okay. That's staying there. You can leave huh? that on, then put a new one here. Okay. So you've got double. Yeah? yeah? This is the water line. Do you want to try and get an extra strip of paint along that? Because that's where it oxidizes, where the water meets it. Oxidizes. That's where rust is most common, deeper pits. Yeah, gonna pressure wash the base plate and then. What's all those bits? Uh, some of them are mussels. Oh. I prefer Jersey mussels. <laughs> there she is. Pretty girl, aren't you? Yeah. It was funny being out of the water. We didn't ever really notice so much when she got the water. We weren't paying attention at all, were we? Oh, it's literally no, just our boat no, and we no, wanted no, it. <laughs> How tall the bow is. Where are you putting the other one? I'll just put it back here. How do you stick it on though? Weld it. Grind and then well, that's, oh, that's, those are welds just for they're, they're still just to hold it on. Right. Have you got the bits of steel? No, they're all, they're attached. The all thing. No, I took out the pressure washer and a bit of filler in there, isn't it? It's had a dent and then... Put a bow on it. Oh. Is it cheap? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll take all this off out of the way tomorrow, the chains. Then I can redo that, it's snapped again. I thought that was a plus there. Right, I'm going to crack on and get this finished. What do you want me to do? You can just watch if you want, but it's, it, you get soaking wet, the water goes everywhere. I don't want to do that. So if you want to go in, I'll put your nice movie on, and then the real hard stuff starts tomorrow when we start painting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you want to watch? Nemo. Safe to say I slept well last night. Um, plan for the day is go over most of it with a wire brush and a drill, just any of the deeper pitted bits. Um, and then my friend Sam's actually come in, the legend, to come help me weld the anodes on. It's a little bit early, really, 
um, in the process. A lot of people tend to get you know, two or three coats on, then grind a little patch back and then weld them. Um, but he's actually going to be passing later on. So I'm just going to try and um, work out where the new anodes are going. I've got four more to go on and then get a patch painted. Hopefully it'll dry by the time I get it so I can grind back the bit that's welding. I'll, I'll show in a minute, I'll get the anodes. Yeah, I'll get the anodes. So basically, I'll find where these are going, paint all around. Hopefully that'll dry by the time it gets in, then we can just grind back the bits that get welded and then paint them after. Um, See, so yeah, I might work out where these go first, just in case. He might be coming tomorrow, which would be better, but I don't want to ruin his Saturday if we don't have to. Because today's Friday and he could come after work. So, I'm thinking where these were, get rid of this, grind this bar off and get that bit ready. So I think we need, it's a bit more likely to have corrosion on the rear. Um, so make sure we get one there. Now I'm debating putting one halfway along because there's still some meat on the ones at the front, but some of the worst pitting is in the middle. Um, so you've still got these up front. Sorry, coffee ain't kicked in yet, so if I'm rambling, but basically this boat, the shape of the hull tapers in so I could actually put some on the side without much chance of them getting knocked because this is going to hit the bank before this. I'll see if I can show you. You can see the hole does this. So if I get the anodes down here, it should be quite protected because you've got this and this. So like on the forward half, I'm sure there's a boat term for that, on the forward half, something down here. Yeah? got into it. This is International's Intertuff 16. Um, it's pretty common amongst boat yards. I can't remember how much it was, 10, 150 for 20 litres or something with postage. Um, right, I'm just going to get this patch done here. Because I've got no markers here, I'm going to use. I'm going to measure back from the beam here to where I think.
didn't bring an extension lead, so I'm just using the brush. So whilst Danny's tacking some scraping on the stern, like the most complicated bit, I'm going to start work away from her just to minimise dust at her end. Uh, I'm going to start on the bow just with a drill and a wire brush just to give a little bit of a brush off and I can work my way back. Hello. How are we doing for time? 20 past 12, day two. Uh, wish we bought a smaller boat. <laughs> <laughs> or one made of plastic. Fiberglass. <laughs> Fiberglass. Um, I yeah. painted it up to like this line of the rust. Oh cool. I didn't yeah. do under here because I thought we wanted to do something. Yeah. Um, so once I've done this, I'll just finish doing this and you could probably start painting up the front and work back. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Alright, I'll just finish this off then we'll stop for a coffee and I'll carry on. Mm -hmm. Breaking work. <laughs> uh, just stop for a cup of tea. And some lunch. It's fully it prepped. Greasy. Yeah, fully prepped, ready to start blacking now. <sighs> um, this one's actually nominated to do the base plate, which I'm really don't surprised by. Kill I'm sure you off. you're going to take that back in a minute. Yeah, I know, it. but I don't want to kill you off yet. Um, so, do you want. How are you going to pour that? Right, I've come up with a plan. Hang on. Let's set up a base here a minute. You can't so even pour the small tins when you try and put the tape in that on, can you? Like, I'm not being funny. I've been a bit of a genius. How heavy is that? 20, 20 kilos. This might work, it might not. Oh, hello! Hello! <laughs> I'm using a brush. You can use this if you want. Right. I need gloves. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do a coat on the waterline first. Are we going to go up that way first though? 
floor coating. What do you mean? I'd start at that end because I painted it like this. Yeah? Actually, oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Not really. Oh. I'll start at the wall line. Can I paint this bit first, so? You felt with your brush, yeah? Yeah. Can I go now? Yeah. Can I have a mask? Yeah, use this one. You might want goggles because if it drips in your eyes. Yeah. Done that, done that. Yeah? Am I like slapping it on or am I doing it like reasonably thin? Try, you probably have to dab it into the pits. Try it. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You'll get a feel, push the rudder right way back, then you can push against it. Yeah? My thingy just undone. Huh? It's just undone. Fun? It's just undone. The mask? Yeah. Oh. How are you feeling? I don't want a boat anymore. Sail? It's so big. They don't feel that big when you're in it. And I've got bitumen in my hair. Aiden. Aiden. Hello. 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 Hello, darling. Hello. You're pretty. You're pretty. You're a stuffy mix. Say, I'm a stuffy mix. Smelly in here. You show me how far you've done? I did this bit. Yep. And then I did under here. This bit was hardest because it's more pitted because it's not been plated over here. Hang on. Yeah. This bit was harder because it's more pitted because it's not new. Yeah. And then this bit plated like this yeah. bit. I'm trying to do them one sheet at a time. Yeah, that's what I was doing when I pressure washer in it. All this. And then that far to go. <laughs> I think we're going to use all that, you know. What do you think? Possibly. I'll just have to go get some more if not. These definitely pelt, don't they? Yeah. You realise I'll smell it is in there when yeah. you take them off. Um, I've done bottom two panels. I'm doing it per panel. This I've done all below the water line. Just got this little bit to do. And then I'll start the next side. And then if we get time tonight, I'll do this panel above water, but that's obviously uh, less important. I can always start that tomorrow morning and then do the bottom coat after. Mamma mia, it's five o'clock now. It's going to be a late one. I don't know if Sam's coming today or tomorrow now because it's a bit late, but we'll see. Not Six o'clock, I can, yeah, you can weld, but it's grinding late, so. So I'll grind in patches just in case, but then he can weld if he does come later. But I feel a bit bad. It's like after work on a Friday, it's the last thing I won't be doing, isn't it? Really? It's not his fault that we bought a boat. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. I've done it now. You finished? Yeah. Done the whole underside on your own? Yeah. Wow. Right, come here then. Oh, I can't. Don't don't touch anything. She got blacking all over. <laughs> okay. Go and have a break. Break. It's gonna say rest and a break at the same time. All right, ready? Those wipes are really good. Go recommend the lemon screw fix. Probably bring you up in your axe now, but at least I've got bitumen on you. Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're a bit rough. Sorry, it's stuck that bit. Sorry, I got the shit on my forehead. Oh. Sorry, hang on. Nearly there. It's like when your mum used to lick a tissue. <laughs> yeah, at least hang oh. on, stop moving away. So I'm going to have to press harder to get closer to you. This is so close to my feet. Right, I have to do for now. Sam's going to be here in about 15 minutes. It'll be about 8 o'clock, bless his heart. Um, quick update. Water line and below. This side's completely done. Danny's done the entire coat on the base plate and 
whim, I've done this side, Danny did this, done this side except for the upper part and then I've started here, water level on the middle strip um, and then I've basically, so to do tonight is this bottom strip and this middle strip and then I can do a first coat on the above water tomorrow. <sighs> Bloody hell. If you're thinking of doing it yourself to save money, time and effort and everything, you won't. Um, just pay someone to do it. But at least you're doing like right of passage, isn't it? Doing it our first time. At least it's only every two, three years anyway. I feel like I've aged since I've been in here. Moustache has grown as well. <laughs> Paint level update. I'd say we've got two thirds left. And that's including, obviously we've done the base plate and the water level down, which is when it's at this state, it just sucks the paint up. It's really porous. Um, so we won't use as much coat, uh, as much paint on the second coat. Right, gonna get ready for Sam to come now. I've ground out some patches where I painted earlier and I've just ground back where the welds go. I've had a mask on there, I we're rolling, by the way. Say hello, Dad. Hello. Hi, Dad. I've done the whole base plate on my own. You've done it. Yeah, she's good enough to tap. You look great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. My hair, I've got the bitumen in my hair. Oh, yeah. Level? Oh, no, no, just oh, really? by eye. Oh. side off went to the pub for a beer and yeah it's almost 11 o'clock now so just stocking up on some pizza and then finish this side off morning day three packed up about 20 past 12 last night then I had a shower I think I got into bed not long before one o'clock to be honest um, yeah everything's got a coat beneath water level now which is good um, I'm gonna start by doing the first coat on the above water level strip Danny's gone back to Somerset um, one of her friends has just had a baby um, so she's gone to see the little one. Um, but she's massive help yesterday. She did the entire base plate by herself. I was absolutely dreading that. And if she didn't do that, the thought of having to do that today, as well as a second coat, just ugh, makes me feel a bit sick, actually. Um, yeah, so thank you, Danny. Thank you, Sam. Legend. Unfortunately, I had a blowout on his way home last night, so he didn't get back before midnight either, which is great. Um, yeah, right, let's get started. Okay. 
shiny. So finally Monday, going back in water. Been the hour or next couple of hours. I've um, just got a couple of little bits to do. I'm going to empty the bin and put the fenders back on and the bow fender that snapped, try and fix that. <sighs> Managed to get two coats all over and a third on the water line, so I'm happy with that. Danny's back. Um, could be here for a couple more days before she goes back from Luton, so not sure what we'll do, but make most of our time here. more up wherever I'll walk and meet you. I guess over here. Let the bridge down, I'll meet you here. Say bye, thank you to our patrons. <laughs>